Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today we are going over a book for review on I Can't Believe I'm Knitting from Leisure Arts featuring several different designers and this book is a pattern book for needle knitting. The patterns in this book there are a dozen there's 12 patterns and the first half actually a little over first the half is the um walking through steps of basic stitches and things like that. There's also some helpful charts, abbreviations, but also showing you um, several different techniques so to get you started, but um, beyond just getting started. So it's not just a couple of things. There's It's chock full of information. It also talks about English and continental knitting. So if you want to get your hands on that, the pictures are very clear, easy to see. They're um, nice and large. Um, I like the high contrast with the white background with the colorful sample, very easy to see. So it's it's done well that way. The um, half first half of the book, as I said, is techniques and things like that, and the next part is uh, the different patterns. So I'm going to throw some pictures up on the screen to show you some of these uh, pictures of these patterns here, and uh, here we go. So the first one is going to be a dishcloth. And it is a plaid dishcloth. Of course, you could um, pick any number of uh, colors that you want to do, but this is a two-color plaid dishcloth. Easy pattern. And then we have another scarf, and it has a basket weave or checkerboard design. Very cute and simple. Then there are some basic mittens, and you could make them solid. They're showing them in stripes, so they actually show you both of them and talk about the right and left um, mittens as well. And then uh, they have a ba basic hat. Now this basic hat is what we have featured a video on. So we'll have the link below. But we have how to read a pattern series and this is for the basic hat. Now we show it in a basic um, one color skein, but it actually is a self striping. So it does the striping, but the hat will actually walk through a striped hat as well. And uh, this hat is made on straight needles. So if you're unfamiliar with that, it actually goes through working a flat panel and decreasing and then seaming it up the back. So that's a great way to start it off and we walk you through that in that video. Also there are booties as a pattern, great for gifts. So then we have a pillow pattern, very traditional and cute as well, um, classic. Shouldn't say cute, it's classic, I like it. Then there's a cable afghan, that's very nice. Um, it looks nice and supple and soft. Now I haven't made this pattern, but it, it looks great in the book and it um, looks pretty simple to do. The pattern it actually fits up on one page, so um, it seems uh, simple enough. Then there's a scallop baby afghan. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I just need to find a baby to knit that up for because it is adorable. <laughs> so I hope somebody will try that, let me know. Uh, there's also a dog sweater and it actually will, um, it has a line diagram for um, showing you how to measure your dog and talks you through uh, small, medium, and extra large dogs and gives you neck and chest measurements. So it's perfect for um, customizing your own. And it's pretty simple, so you can change up the stitches and things like that So um, and make a good fit for your dog. Then there's a crew neck pullover. It walks you through all of that, has some diagrams on it. It's uh, several pages to really give you a, uh, the best uh, layout of how it goes and then we also have socks and uh, talks about the cuff and the heel and um, goes through has some pictures on that these are using circular needles instead of using uh, double pointed needles which you could do and then there's the felted purse now there's actually they're showing a couple of different ideas on the felted purse uh, to give you um, some idea of how to make that so um, lots of cute patterns, very versatile. The um, felting on the purse would be a technique that would be nice to learn, and that's also in the book. So overall, uh, love all the designs in this book. Very cute, very clear instructions. And again, we do have that series courtesy of and permission by Leisure Arts. So thank you so much, Leisure Arts, for providing that to us and uh, be able to um, click on that and take you right to that, um, that basically it's a class. It's about, uh, it's less than an hour long. So get your coffee and your notes and, uh, and then get your needles later on and work with me on that hat. So here's the fun part. We are doing a giveaway. Ha, yay! 
So giving away again, as always, two, okay? So two books, one international, one for the United States. Be sure to click down below, put your comment in, make sure and write your country. And again, you can always write any other comment. Please try and put your country first. It's really helpful to me if you put it at the end. It's, it's really hard for me to tally up the votes at the end because I, I uh, rely on the email system to um, make sure I have all of those for sure. So um, please, if you could do that for me. And any comments later after the closing of the giveaway will definitely kind of rise up to the top. So be sure and ask your questions about the book if you want to. Again, we only have permission to do a knit along for one pattern in the book. So please don't ask me to walk you through any other patterns or do a... Um, and knit along because I won't be able to do that. So again, thank you to Leisure Arts. Be sure to um, share this video for your friends to try and win as well. And uh, if you'd like to get your own copy of the book, there is a link down below. Please click on that and that will take you to it. You can get your hard copy or you can get a digital copy. And I always like to get a digital one for my, my phone, which also can go over to my tablet as well and keeps my library nice and light. So I hope you're encouraged to read patterns. Please do that. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day and happy knitting. Bye-bye.